My name is Mark Bochu and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Originally I came here to do a bit of writing for an MFA. In the interim I've been painting because that's what I was doing before. I've never been surrounded by so many Americans. Australians I think are kind of cousins to Americans and they don't really see you as that different, um, but they are fucking different. So I think if New York was a character in my life, it's kind of like a silent friend that you can always depend on for stimulating you and kind of inspiring you. On the streets, the texture in people's faces is a lot more worn than in, say, Melbourne. I think in Melbourne, people have a pretty great life and things are looking good. But in America, people really struggle. And I think being in art or being in writing, it's pretty nourishing to be in a place where people are experiencing the full gamut of what it is to be, to be a person and to be human. All I paint is faces. The reason that I paint faces is because the face is the easiest thing to abstract. Because for anyone who's looking at different things in the world, the face is almost like its own language. When you see two dots and a curve, it's a smiley face. And you have this natural kind of like inbuilt visual language that tells you this is a human face and I'm gonna try to extract emotion out of that image. Like one thing, that I'm really loving doing at the moment is finding shapes in people's faces that you don't necessarily associate with faces. When you're thinking about am I exploiting the person who you're painting because you're trying to paint an element of their sadness, you need to turn off the artistic part of you when you're trying to rebalance it. Yes, there's always going to be that exploitation, but if in other parts of your life you can be generous, People enjoy being painted and I think people even who don't have much of a, a natural affinity with art, they know that it has this luster. I think that when you tell them that you've done a painting of them, that's a, it's a generous act in itself, I think. People appreciate it and I think when they see their faces reconfigured into these shapes, even if the face was giving off a sad emotion at the time, when they see it in an abstract form, it's very rare that they will then feel sad. It, they will almost always feel happy to know that you've painted them. I think art can be basically a window to provocation. Even an image that's the most lifelike image is something that can be open to interpretation emotionally or ideologically. And I think the stuff is all there in the art and just people need to, I would say, stop thinking about art as decoration and start thinking about art as um, basically the same as reading a book.